the divine chaplain, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead, and on the third day rose again from the dead, ascended into heaven, and seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, 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 for the sake of his sorrowful passion. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, 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 eternal Father, I ask you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, 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 for the sake of his sorrowful passion. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, 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 for the sake of his sorrowful passion. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, 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 for the sake of his sorrowful passion. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, for the 
the sake of his sorrowful passion. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. 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 Holy God. Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. In our prayer before Mass, Eternal Father, I unite myself in the intentions and affections of our Lady of Sorrows on Calvary. And I offer to thee the sacrifice which thy beloved Son made of himself on the cross, and which he now renews on his holy altar. I offer to the name of all mankind, that the Masses which are now being offered, and all those which will be offered throughout the world of this day. To adore thee and give thee the honor which is due to thee, confessing thy supreme dominion over all things, and the absolute dependence of everything upon thee, forever and ever. Thank thee for the innumerable benefits we have received, to the peace thy justice aroused against us by so many sins, and to make satisfaction for thee, to the Lord grace and mercy for myself, for thy church, for all of thee. The sorrow, the poor sinners, to those who might not spares, for the entire world, for the holy souls of purgatory. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Good morning to you all. Good morning, Father. You are welcome to this celebration. Today, we thank God in a special way for the gift of life as we continue to pray for all the soldiers in Afghanistan. We begin this celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. To celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us go to mind our sins. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to my brothers, brothers and sisters that, that I have truly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask blessed be the religion, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. We are mighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Today we celebrate the memory of Saint Pope John uh, Paul II. Sweet. Almighty, ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. We make our prayers to our Lord Jesus Christ, our Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I kneel before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named, that he may grant you, in accord with the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with power through his Holy Spirit in the inner self, and that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you, rooted and grounded in love, may have strength to comprehend with all the holy ones what is the breadth and length and height and depth, and to know the love of Christ that surpasses all knowledge, so that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Now to him who is 
is able to accomplish far more than all we ask or imagine. By the power at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus, to all generations, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. The earth, the earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Exalt you just in the Lord. Praise from the upright is fitting. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp. With a ten-stringed lyre, chant his praises. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. For upright is the word of the Lord. And all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. <coughs> the earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. But the plan of the Lord stands forever, the design of his heart through all generations. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. But see, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness, to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. It 
must be purified. Then one will say, oh, this is, this is gold. Fire is used in many, in doing many things. In boiling, in cooking, in preparing food. And also, fire is useful as well. Fire is dangerous. When we were baptized, the priest said, make sure that you continue to flame this fire. Make sure that this fire does not go off. The priest uses this word during baptism. The fire of what? The fire of love. When Jesus talks about fire, he means the fire of love. Make sure that that fire continues. Oh, it continues burning every time. The fire, the love that will make you to cherish, admire the things of God, value the image of God, appreciate the creatures of God. That is the fire of love Jesus is talking about. Jesus did not come in order to spoil the world, in order to bring catastrophe between the families, in order to bring enmity between the families, in order to bring hatred. No. That is not the intention of God coming to the earth. We will not forget that during the presentation of our Lord Jesus, when Mary presented Jesus to the temple, and someone took Jesus, Simeon, what did he say? Oh, at last my eyes have seen the Lord my salvation. I can go to rest. And he added, this child is destined to be a contradiction for many people. A contradiction. Why, is, why did he say that? That this child is destined to be a contradiction. And that is the gospel of today. The gospel we preach. Some people will accept the gospel. And move along with the gospel. Why some people, the truth of the gospel will make them to be sad. Why is he preaching this? Or why is he telling me this? Because they don't want to accommodate the truth. They want to be hearing only fake, fake gospel, fake things. And they don't want to listen to the reality of the gospel. Why is it that this, this child will be a sign of contradiction? Maybe it's of families. Some, you might be telling them the importance of following Christ, what is obtainable, and you will see some going contrary to, to your words, telling you that it is not true. You will see some trying to go the other way around, Telling you no, we are not, we don't want your, we don't want your Christ, we don't want anything about God. Go, even they are ready to fight. They are ready to criticize. They will make you to be sad. They will make you to be ready to fight. And that is it. Jesus is saying today, how I wish this fire is already on. Because some will welcome the gospel. Some will not welcome the gospel. Some, the gospel will be so palatable, very nice for them, comfortable. While some, the gospel will not be comfortable for them. Jesus did not come to bring division between families. Because he knows the importance of family. He came from a family, the family of Joseph, Mary, and Jesus. He knows that family is the first thing here on earth. 
And also he knows that we are families of God. Families of God, brother, brothers and sisters. He did not come in any way to sow the seed of the division. Rather, he came in order to build us up. Brothers and sisters, today, as Jesus is talking about the fire of love, let us rekindle the fire we have in our hearts so that that fire of love will be burning and many people will appreciate it. For this we pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. As Jesus has called us today to be one family, family of love, family that will call upon the name of the Lord, let us bring our intentions known to Him. For missionaries throughout the world who suffer persecution, may the Lord grant them courage and strength. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. For people who wield political, military, or monetary power, may the Holy Spirit direct them in the ways of justice and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For an end to violence in local communities, may God open the hearts of local leaders to address community injustices promoting dialogue and new understanding among their citizens. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For an end to abortion, euthanasia, and all offenses against the dignity of human life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those who serve our country and its people through their service in the military or as first responders, that they may in our that they remain in our prayers and find God's peace in the midst of perilous challenges. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all in our faith community working to aid those in need, particularly our Stephen ministry leaders and caregivers in formation, that God bless them with compassion and wisdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those who have died, including Helen Marie Hitt, for whom Our Lady of Grace candle burns this week, may they rest in, eternally in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our For our personal petitions, let us pause in silence. For all of these, let us pray to the Lord. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for this wonderful opportunity you have given to us. As you have talked about the fire of love in the gospel, may we recognize the importance of this fire and also know that we are called to serve one another. For this we pray through Christ our Lord. Amen.
sisters that this sacrifice will be acceptable to Almighty God our Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all this holy church. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our return our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the end of mortal beings with your divinity, and even fashion for us a remedy out of mortality itself, that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices we pray join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we sing. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the beautiful so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave it thanks, broke it and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the glory of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chance of salvation, giving thanks that we have had us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray. The partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, the church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Oscar our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints, Saint Paul, John Paul II, who have blessed you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced into our life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, God Almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us with confidence pray to the Father, the words our Savior gave us, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, 
that we may dwell on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and the graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ always be with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of God's peace and love. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed is God to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not willing to enter under my mind, but I will say the word, and my soul shall be Our communion hymn is number 480, but one whose love is this, 480. What wondrous love is this, O oh my soul, O oh my soul, what wondrous love is this, O oh my soul? To bear the dreadful curse 
Let us pray. Grant, O oh Lord, we pray, that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a blessed day. You too, Father. Oh, sound.